So after our test session at Soho Motorsports, do I recommend two and a quarter inch test pipes on the VQ37 platform? Let's get into it. A long running theory that I've had and which is based off of a bunch of research by Motordyne specifically, that two and a quarter inch test pipes actually allow the VQ37 to make a little bit more torque. More torque than a setup that has two and a half inch test pipes, for example. Now there's a, other, there's a couple of other things that you need to consider uh, when pursuing two and a quarter inch test pipes and a couple other elements that they discuss in their uh, research article, which I'll link in the description below. Uh, but ultimately, the smaller diameter test pipes produced more torque in the VQ37 platform. However, the catback system, the exhaust system that attaches to those test pipes, uh, must gradually get larger, larger ultimately to three inch diameter. What the smaller test pipes do is maximize scavenging. So that allows for more low end torque, which is what these VQ37 equipped vehicles lack. Had a really awesome opportunity recently to test this theory at Soho Motorsports on their dyno. Now just for a little background comparison, this car has made uh, some pretty decent numbers with simple drop-in filters and uh, an aftermarket or custom catback exhaust system paired with two and a half inch test pipes. Uh, I first made 333 horsepower with 284 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's really, really impressive for uh, this platform. That's some of the highest, those are some of the highest torque numbers that I've seen. Now those numbers were achieved with two and a half inch test pipes, but two and a quarter inch catback system. I eventually wanted to make a little bit of a change, see if I could get a different tone out of the exhaust note and free up a little bit of additional flow. So I upgraded to a two and a half inch custom catback system, the one that uh, has come to be known as the Sweet Culture Studios catback system with the Borla mid muffler and the flow effects resonators. So that's a two and a half inch system, complete test pipes through the catback system. Uh, that was about a year after my first dyno session at Soho Motorsports. I put the car back on the dyno and made 334 horsepower, 276 foot pounds of torque. Now that is a drop and eight foot pounds of torque and we increased horsepower by one uh, so i you know we sort of busted the myth of big more flow is better those are pretty decent numbers nonetheless 334 horsepower 276 foot pounds of torque there's nothing to sneeze at there that's pretty acceptable with just drop-in filters test pipes and a custom catback system now, of course as enthusiasts we're always trying to test and tune right we're always trying to squeeze as much as we possibly can out or figure out the most efficient ways to make power with these cars so i wanted to do some more testing and that's what brings me to the motordyne article i wanted to figure out what we could do to pull a little bit more torque or regain some of that torque that we had lost going from a two and a quarter inch catback system to two and a half inch catback system uh, obviously there was something to do with the diameter there and i thought uh, based on what I saw in that Motordyne article, that if we were able to find some two and a quarter inch test pipes that we could maximize the scavenging a bit further, we could pull some of that torque out of this platform, retain the nice throaty sound that the two and a half inch catback system gets us, as well as that additional flow. I did a bunch of research and it was very, very difficult to find two and a quarter inch test pipes. I actually looked for well over a year. Uh, Fast Intentions used to make them, but they told me because of demand, they stopped making two and a quarter inch test pipes uh, and they just didn't have the means to make me my own set uh, however kinetics racing came along i somehow found them and asked if they were able to uh, make two and a quarter inch test pipes and they were i went with non-resonated because they're much much cheaper and this was just for test purposes only so there's no need to spend a bunch of money what we needed to get was that smaller diameter i installed them car felt great. I didn't feel like I lost any torque. I didn't necessarily feel like I gained any torque uh, and it sounded really cool. I actually got a couple additional little crackles and pops there randomly so that was neat but ultimately we needed to get the car on the dyno and that's what we did. I gotta say that the numbers we got with the two and a quarter inch test pipes and the two and a half inch catback system were a little disappointing. wasn't expecting anything dramatic, however I was expecting a little bit of an increase. Obviously that was my theory. Not necessarily an increase in horsepower, but an increase in torque. Again, we went from 284 to 276 going from a two and a quarter inch cat back to two and a half. That's pretty significant. The numbers that we got with the two and a quarter inch test pipes were about 331 horsepower, 266 foot-pounds of torque. So we lost another 10 foot-pounds of torque 
Obviously there are a bunch of variables and there are a few things that could have caused this decrease. Simply looking at the graphs together, people might say, well, you went to two and a quarter inch test pipes, you lost power and you lost torque, and that would be the end of it. Two and a quarter inch test pipes don't work. Well, it's not that easy. When I first had this car on the dyno, conditions were excellent. Again, we made 333, 284. The temperatures were about 57 degrees and humidity was under 40%, something like 36 to 37%. You can't really get more ideal than that. When I went to put the car on the dyno the last time with these two and a quarter inch test pipes, again with the Speed Culture Studios custom cat bag system, the temperatures were significantly higher than the two sessions before. The temperatures were over 90 degrees outside and Nick said that the temperature in the shop was easily around 100 degrees. So that's something to consider. But the big thing was that the humidity was almost 60%. I'm just making the correlation between the weather conditions that the car is being tested in and the numbers that the car is able to make in those conditions, it's pretty obvious that temperature, but more specifically humidity, has a massive impact on how the car performs on the dyno. Just going to 35 to 40% humidity, we lost eight foot-pounds of torque. And then going from 40% humidity to 55% humidity, we lost another 10 foot-pounds of torque. It's pretty crazy. So you might be asking if weather is to blame for the overall performance of the vehicle. Do the two and a quarter inch test pipes have any impact at all, whether they're an improvement or uh, a hindrance? So dynos don't read horsepower per se. They generate a horsepower number based on a relationship between torque and wheel speed. Now, I'm not a tuner or an expert, so that's one thing that kind of baffles me a little bit is that we're making the same horsepower number, a very, very similar horsepower number, but we've decreased torque substantially. So does that mean our wheel speed is high or higher than it was before? You know, if we're getting a lower torque number, is the higher wheel speed enough to compensate for that loss, which gives us a, a more uh, a horsepower number that was similar to the numbers we received before? I, I don't know. If we tested these test pipes in much cooler and uh, in much cooler conditions with much lower humidity, would we have performed substantially better than we did previously? I don't know that either. I don't think there's enough information. One thing I am thinking is that the Borla Pro XS mid muffler sort of negates the necessity for a smaller diameter test pipe. Uh, what I mean by that is in the Motordyne article, they had said that scavenging does not occur past the Y pipe essentially. Uh, so be, with the Borla being in that location of the Y pipe, we're getting all of the scavenging up to that point. This is a pretty free-flowing muffler with the with the um, crossover. It's essentially a resonated X-pipe. Again, I think that Borla muffler sort of negates or uh, performs, does the same thing that the smaller res or the smaller diameter test pipes would do, uh, making them really not necessary. So combining the two, rather than increasing that torque number, may have had a negative effect on our torque number. Now, with that being said. Could you test this system with a, a, just a, a regular X pipe in the smaller diameter test pipes? I think you would get uh, better torque numbers. It really is about the combination. You change one thing, then you have to consider another. So I think two and a half inch test pipes with the Speed Culture Studios two and a half inch custom catback system. I think that is the ideal exhaust setup for the VQ37. I don't think there's any need, based on what I'm seeing here, to go down to two and a quarter inch test pipes. I think uh, two and a half is sufficient and effective. Now, with that being said, if you choose to forego the Borla Pro XS and you wanna go with just a regular X pipe uh, that maybe has a little uh, less back pressure, in that case, you may want to go to two and a quarter inch test pipe and get some of that torque number back. But of course, by doing that, you sacrifice a beautiful exhaust note because adding an X pipe onto this platform just is basically like adding an echo chamber. Uh, they cause a lot of additional rasp, uh, the car doesn't sound good, and you know the additional performance, if any, that you would get would simply be uh, you know, a slightly higher torque number. I don't know that you're gonna see substantially uh, increased torque numbers over the setup that we have. Um, but, you know, it's worth a try if you guys want to do it. I'm not going to test it out because I love how this catback system sounds on this car and it is what it is. Knowing that in ideal conditions I can make, you know, over 280 foot-pounds of torque with my setup and 333-ish, 335 horsepower, I, I think I'm pleased with that. In conclusion, guys, if you have the Speed Culture Studios custom catback system, do not get the two and a quarter inch test pipes. I don't think it's going to do anything for you. 
and in order to take advantage of two and a quarter inch test pipes, I think you'd have to manipulate or uh, change the catback system and it's just not worth it in my opinion. This video was helpful guys and I hope it gave you a couple of things to think about when you're tuning your VQ37. Don't forget to like and subscribe and of course we'll see you in the next one.